Hello and welcome back to this channel. Dear students, this topic is link power budget. In this session, we will discuss the point to point link which is required in case of optical communication as well as we will discuss the optical power loss model and we will discuss few numericals related to the losses taking place in optical cable or related to the link designing as far as this optical cable is concerned. So first part is point to point link. This is the simple diagram of point to point link. At the input side, we are using one light source. We know that through the fiber optic cable, we have to transmit the signals in the form of light rays. So suitable light source is uh, used at the input side. Then one optical transmitter is required, which will convert the light source into the suitable format. These light rays are transmitted through this part, which is FOC, that is fiber optic cable or optical link. At the output, we have to make use of a suitable optical detector. Now, as far as this point to point communication link or optical link is concerned, you should mention the system requirements. So the major system requirements are the transmission distance, then bandwidth, that is BW and bit error rate. Bit error rate is related to the thing that how many bits you are transmitting per second and out of uh, those transmitted bits, how many bits are in error, that is bit error rate. Then this light source, this is the important part as far as the link design or optical link is concerned. We have studied different light sources in the earlier sessions. Usually LED that is light emitting diode or laser diodes are used as a light source. The selection of a light source depends on the operating wavelength that is lambda, then number of modes, number of operating modes, then P out that is optical output power from the light source and area which is covered by the light source. This light source is connected uh, to the optical transmitter and then it is connected to the fiber optic cable. Then fiber optic cable, the major requirements of the fiber optic cable or uh, choice of fiber optic cable depends on RI that is refractive index profile of the optical cable, then cone of acceptance that is theta A, then numerical aperture that is NA and the diameter of the core layer of optical cable. Then when the data transmits through the fiber optic cable at the output end, we are going to make use of suitable optical receiver that is a photo detector. Commonly used photo detectors are pin photodiode or APD that is avalanche photodiode. We already discussed these things in detail in the earlier videos. So the major requirements from the optical detector or choice of optical detectors depends on R that is responsivity of the detector, then eta that is efficiency of the detector, NEP that is noise equivalent power of the detector and speed of the detection. These are the major requirements. So this is the simple diagram of point to point communication link. Apart from this, some other components are used that is connectors. These connectors are required to connect the source as well as a detector to the fiber optic cable. Certain portion of the fiber optic cable is inside the inside such connectors at the transmitter, I mean at the source end as well as at the receiver at the detector end that is called fly lead of optical cable. Then we are again supposed to use certain devices which are called splices. It is not possible to manufacture a particular fiber optic cable for a longer wavelength. Let us say we want to design a fiber optic cable to transmit a signal for, for 100 kilometers distance. Then at a stretch, it is not possible to manufacture a single optical cable. In this case, number of optical cables are connected to each other. So to connect the optical fiber, fiber cables, the device which is called splices are used. So apart from this, uh, we need to take into consideration the different connectors then different splices used in optical cable designing. The next part is optical power loss model. You may expect the direct question like this, draw and explain optical power loss model or explain with the diagram the link power budget in optical cable. So this is the corresponding diagram of link power budget or power loss model of optical cable. As the name indicates, whenever the data is transmitted from transmitter end to the receiver through the fiber optic cable, 
the different losses are taking place in the system. So you need to take into account, you need to consider all these losses and then you will come to know that the designed fiber optic link or designed fiber optic structure is viable or not. So this is the corresponding diagram of power loss model. S represents the source and as I mentioned just now, fly lead is the part of optical cable which is, uh, which is connected or which is going inside the connector. So this is, this is the connector. LC represents the losses taking place in the connector at the transmitter end as well as at the receiver end. See, at the transmitter side, we have to connect the source. At the receiver side, we have to connect the detector. These source and detectors are connected using a device called connector. So LC represents the losses taking place in case of a connector. Then, as I right now mentioned, if you want to connect different fiber optic cables one after other, then the device which is called splices are used. So depending on the length of fiber optic cable that you want to design, the number of splices are decided. So LSP stands for the losses taking place in the splices. Then apart from this connector and uh, splicing losses, Whenever the data is transmitting through the optical cable, the attenuation of that data takes place. This attenuation is denoted by alpha. Of course, as the distance increases, this attenuation loss goes on increasing. So alpha denotes the corresponding attenuation loss. Then as I said, LSP are the splices, splicing losses. Same thing is applicable at the receiver end. LC stands for connector losses. This is the detector. Finally, we know that through the fiber optic cable, the signals are reaching up to the detector. So suitable uh, detector like pin photodiode or APD is used. Now, this is the corresponding equation, rather mathematical equation of link power budget. PR is the received power. PT is the transmitted power minus alpha. As I just now mentioned, alpha is the attenuation taking place in the optical cable. So actually you, you may write this term as alpha into L because L is the length of optical cable. Then LC connector losses, LSP splice losses and you need to apart from all these losses, these are the theoretical losses. There may be the losses taking place due to the aging effect of the components used in the link design or there may be temperature variations. Again, these, these are unpredictable things. So this again causes losses, adds losses in the system. So that is considered as the system margin. Usually a system margin of 6 dB up to 8 dB is uh, taken into account while designing a particular optical link. Now we will solve few numericals related to this part, then this concept will be more clear. Now let us solve the numerical. Given question is a 40 kilometer. This 40 kilometer is the given length of optical fiber, flat Ethernet single mode link with 0.4 dB per kilometer loss. This is the given value of alpha that is attenuation loss taking place when the signals are transmitting through the optical cable at 1310 nanometer. Actually, this is the given wavelength which is not required in such numericals is used with two connector pairs. We know that to connect source as well as detector, we need to make use of connector pair. So two connector pairs are used with five splices. Splice is a device which is used to join two fiber optic cables. So five splices are used between transmitter of minus 8 dBm power. dBm stands for milli dB. So it is transmitted power minus 8 dBm and receiver sensitivity of minus 38 dBm. So this is the received power minus 38 dBm. Given one connector pair loss is 0.75 dB that is per uh, pair loss is 0.75 dB and per splice loss is 0.1 dB. That means every splice adds a loss of 0.1 dB. First part, calculate total connector and splice loss. So the first we will calculate total connector loss. Let us denote the connector loss by notation LC. There are two connector pairs. Per pair, loss is 0.75 dB. So it is 2 into 0.75, that is 1.5 dB.
this is the connector loss and splice loss look at the given question there are total five splices and per splice loss is 0.1 db so splice loss let us denote it by lsp splice loss is total five splices into splice per splice loss is 0.1 db so into 0.1 that is 0.5 db this is answer of first part we calculated connector loss and splice loss second part total link loss considering a safety margin of 6 db basic equation of total link loss is we have to add all the losses that is lc plus lsp that is connector loss plus splice loss plus sm sm is the system margin it is given in the question 6 db even if it is not uh, given you need to assume a, a value between 6 to 8 db so it is system margin plus this value of attenuation c plus it is alpha into l that is value of attenuation into l attenuation is 0.4 db this is per kilometer where length l 40 kilometer is given in the question so let us write the, all the values so lc is 1.5 lsp is 0.5 system margin is 6 plus alpha into l alpha is the attenuation per kilometer so it is 0.4 into l l is the length of cable that is 4 zero. if you solve this then the answer of total loss in the system is 24 db third part estimate the maximum total fiber distance for the fiber optic link do not get confused in the second part we took length equals to 40 kilometers because it is given in the question and we took this value and did the calculation but in the third part apart from this length for which the system is designed you need to calculate what is the maximum allowed length or what is the maximum allowed distance so the things are pretty simple this is the link power budget equation pr received power is equals to pt transmitted power minus all losses lc lsp minus system margin minus alpha into l we have to calculate L for the maximum condition. So in the third part, I am not keeping L equals to 40 kilometers because I need to calculate the maximum distance. So I will make use of this formula PR that is receiver sensitivity is minus 38 dBm is equals to PT. I will skip this unit. Do remember one more important uh, thing in such numericals don't think about dbm and all such units because these are the logarithmic uh, units so after subtraction we know that logarithmic uh, division becomes logarithmic subtraction so do not think about the notation keep it as it is so it is minus 30 is equal to i'm making use of this formula pt is minus 8 rather it is minus 8 dbm just now i mentioned do not look at the units because automatically it gets uh, cancelled then minus 8 value of pt minus lc minus 1.5 value of lc minus lsp minus 0.5 value of splice loss minus 6 system margin 6 minus alpha l minus value of alpha attenuation this value 0.4 db per kilometer 0.4 into l i need to calculate l for maximum condition that is maximum l in this case represents the maximum length maximum allowed distance so let us rearrange the equation transfer this 30 at the rhs side transfer this 0.4 l at the lhs side so it becomes 0.4 l is equals to 30 minus 8 minus 1.5 minus 0.5 minus 6 so from this you will get the value of l that is maximum allowed length or distance is 55 kilometers this is the answer of third part see maximum allowed length is 55 kilometer and we are operating it by uh, it at 40 kilometers so system is quite viable next problem a 1550 nanometer single mode digital fiber optic link as i uh, said in the last numerical this wavelength lambda is not required in such numericals needs to operate at 622 mbps this is the given speed of operation which is again not required over 80 kilometer length without amplifier so this is the value of l 80 kilometer length of the optical cable a single mode indium gallium arsenide phosphate that is ingaasp laser 
launches average optical power of 13 dBm. So this value 13 dBm stands for value of PT that is transmitted power into the fiber. The fiber has loss of 0.35 dB per kilometer. So this is the attenuation loss which is denoted by alpha. So it is 0.35 dB per kilometer and there is a splice with loss of 0.1 dB every kilometer. So this is the splice loss 0.1 dB after or at every kilometer distance. This is the splice loss 0.1. Then coupling loss at receiver is 0.5 dB. This is 0.5, 0.5 dB. So this is the value of LC. See, the coupling loss at the detector is given. At the source, it is not mentioned. So whatever value is given, we have to make use of only that value. So we will be making use of LC equals to 0.5 dB. And receiver uses indium gallium arsenide, that is INGAS APD, avalanche photo detector, with sensitivity of minus 31 dBm. So this is the value of receiver sensitivity, that is PR. Excess noise penalties are predicted to be 1.5 dB. This is the extra noise. Excess noise is given. So we need to add it in all losses. Find system margin. We will be making use of same formula. Only difference is that we need to add again the noise factor in this case. So I will write last term as a noise. That is excess noise which is 1.5. Now very important part. Uh, we have to make use of the splices total length is 80 kilometer think like this total length is 80 kilometer uh, the first part is connected to the source so up to one kilometer no splice is required after one kilometer after one kilometer till the end of a uh, cable you need one splice make it more simple number of splices are always total length minus one so total 79 splices will be required for 80 kilometer length. As I said, make use of the simple technique. Number of splices is equals to total length minus one. Then we'll be making use of this formula PR, value of PR that is receiver sensitivity is minus 31 dBm, which is equals to PT transmitted power is 13 dBm. Again, like the last sum, you don't have to make any conversion. It will be automatically converted. So it is 13 value of uh, PT then minus LC it is 0.5 so minus 0.5 minus LSP splice loss now as we discussed 79 splices are used and every splice gives a loss of 0.1 dB so it is 79 into 0.1 this is the value of LSP that is splice loss minus SM system margin that I need to calculate minus alpha L alpha is the attenuation which is 0.35 into L that is 80. 80 kilometer is the given length alpha L minus noise. This excess noise is given 1.5 dB. So you just have to rearrange the equation. So system margin, I will transfer this SM at LHS 31 at RHS. So it becomes 31 plus 13 minus 0.5 minus 7.9 this 79 into 0.1. This I have transferred to the LHS minus this term as it is 0.35 into 80. It becomes 24 minus 1.5. So if you solve this, the available system margin will be 6.1 dB. This is the final answer. So this is the way how to solve the numericals. Actually, these numericals are pretty simple. Apart from the excess data given in the question, you just have to make use of one formula. Any numerical can be solved. So dear students, that's it for today's session. So thank you. Thanks a lot for watching this video.